In this video, I'm going to share with you seven applications that can help you streamline your workflow, enhance and increase productivity and boost your real estate business. But before we get into it, if you are new here, my name is Lara Simeon, aka Lad to the R E double S. A. And this is a place on the internet where I have fellow real estate brothers and sisters keep it real estate so you can become that real estate agent. And if that sounds like your vibe, then please hit subscribe. First up, we have Notion. Notion is a productivity platform that basically allows you to create different working dashboards to manage, track, and organize any pillar fast that you have in both your business and life. Now here, what you were looking at is called your hub. This is a Notion dashboard that I have personally been using the last year and a half and I am now selling this template as a Notion template on my Etsy shop. So give it a look. The link will be in the description box down below. But essentially, this is your centralized place where you come to on the daily where you can manage your day to day agenda here. So if I click this open, you can see your, your running day, scheduled, check, habits, things like that. You can also manage your content. So if I open up this toggle, you can see your weekly content board. So this is where I would track my social media postings and more specifically my YouTube videos. So this is where I would plan my YouTube videos and have all that content there. So I'm prepped and ready to film and push that out. Underneath here, we have our real estate section. So this is where you can see your closings in that week. You can see all of your running current listings. So if I open up this card, we can see Buzz Lightyear's listing and all of his intake information here. And then underneath that, we have a, an area to manage and see your in-contract buyers and sellers, depending on where they are at in the real estate transaction. And of course, you can open up this card here and see Peter Pan's profile to see where he is at in the real estate process. And I've created formulas here so you can actually manage and track all of your commission, your net commission income, and also the sales volume you do within that particular year. So if you want to see more of this in a deep dive interactive mode, again, check the link in the description box down below because then you can see this board and click on it as well because this is a view only board. Next up, we have Calendly. Calendly is a scheduling appointment software, which basically enables you to to avoid what I call ping pong dialogue with your clients. So you can send them a specific link and when they click on that link, they can basically book into your calendar. They can schedule a Zoom call, a regular call, or even meet you at your office. So here is the, a, an example of a Calendly. So I'm gonna open this specific event up. Let me click on here. And you can see here, this is the link that you would share with your clients here. And when they you can copy this link here and share that with your clients. And basically they can pick an available day that you have. And based on your availability, they can choose a time. And let's say they choose this time. You can also ask them preliminary questions before they even book a call with you so that you know what to expect in that meeting. And if you want to learn more about Calendly and how to set this all up, I do have a separate in-depth tutorial for real estate agents. So be sure to check out this link in the cards above and in the description box below because this will make your meeting life that much more efficient. Next up, we have Loom. Loom is basically what I call a video message recording communication software. That is a mouthful. But essentially what this platform is, is that you can create screen recordings of your computer screen as you see right now with me in the corner. This is a great tool to use when it comes to creating hidden videos or SOP videos, standard operation procedures in your business. So for example, you could use Loom as a way to screen record what the contracts would look like for a buyer and what the contracts would look like for a seller or create hidden separate videos for the process of what it would look like at a specific point within a real estate transaction. Any which way you're creating videos as a log so that you can share it with your clients at a later date so they have information that they can reference and refer back to when they need to if you are busy. So I do have a full in-depth video of how to use Loom, which I will link in the cards above. But really quickly here, I'll just show you an example. So this is a video of a Calendly confirmation. So this is at 2x speed right now. So I'll just put this at 1x speed. 
from Townley or possibly from my Oh, it's Larissa. Thank you so much for booking it. Into so it is a normal <laughs> working video, but essentially when you record on Calendly, sorry, once you record on Loom, once you're done recording, it will automatically save to the cloud on Loom. So then you can share that video with your clients. So I could just, for example, click this copy link button. And if I open this up in a new tab, let me open up a new tab here and paste in that link. This is what that video would look like. Then your client can click on the video. They can watch it, refer back to it at a later date. But again, this is just a way to streamline communication and making sure that everybody knows what's happening again at certain parts of the real estate transaction. Moving on to Flowdesk, which is my newest addition to my toolkit. Flowdesk is essentially an email marketing platform that enables you to create beautiful campaigns to engage and convert leads. So you can use Flowdesk to send out mass emails in regards to an email newsletter that's say on a monthly or weekly basis you can use it to create forms so freebies so in this case if you create a form you can essentially share a link that looks like this with your audience and then they can put in their first name and email so then flowdesk will email out the copy of your buyer or seller guide or whatever freebie that you have and as mentioned again you can create email newsletters with Flores and you can create a beautiful designs with this as it's very similar to Canva in the sense that you can just adapt it to how you want it to look like. So I do have a now an email template I'm able to share from Flores and this is basically an example of what an email newsletter would look like in regards to real estate and if you want access to this specific template, then I recommend checking out this other tutorial I have here linked in the cards above and in the description box down below of how to create an email newsletter with Flowdesk. So you can get access to that template there. And full disclosure, I am an affiliate with Flowdesk. So I do have a special link linked in the description box down below where you can get 50% off your first year with Flowdesk, which is really freaking awesome. So definitely check that out linked in the description box down below. Next up, we have OBS Studios. As you see right now, this is what the OBS Studios application looks like. I use this personally to film my YouTube videos and just tutorial style YouTube videos because I'm able to create what's called different scenes. So right now over here, you see full face. This is my full face camera. If I go to cropped, I can go here to show my computer screen, which is what you're seeing right now, which is the OBS application. Or if I go to end screen, which is a new scene I made, it goes to this kind of style so that I can highlight the next video to watch. Now, it, OBS Studios, it does take some time to get used to, to set it up, but I promise you, if you learn how to use this and implement this, it's going to make filming that much more enjoyable because it really does remove the friction of filming because all I have to do is just turn on my camera, turn on my mic, turn on my light, and I am rocking and rolling. So if you want to learn more about OBS Studios, which is free by the way, then check out this video linked in the cards above and in the description box down below of how I personally use OBS Studios. If you want a tool that enables you to consolidate and centralize all of your multiple links within one single link, then Linktree is for you. This is an application that does just that. As you can see here, I have multiple links here. I can share my social media links up here and it just makes things really nice and seamless so that when people are coming across this link tree, they can engage with the resources that are relevant to them. Now, I do have a full separate tutorial of how to use Linktree as a real estate agent, which I will link in the cards above. So do give that a look, but essentially you can create a very special button on Linktree. So for example, here, you can create a button that enables people to save your contact details details to their phone contacts, which is really convenient. So I would share your link tree in your social media accounts, in the descriptions of your YouTube video, and even put it as a QR code on your business cards, or even link it in your email signature. So that way people can click one link and they'll be taken to a plethora of links like this. Lastly, we have Keywords Everywhere, which is a powerful SEO tool. SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization. Keywords Everywhere is basically a Chrome extension. So you would add this to Chrome or Firefox or Edge. I use it for Chrome and you do need to pay for this certain amount of keyword research. So you would have to pay for credits as you see here. But basically I turned this 
Chrome extension on when I am doing keyword research. So I have a full in-depth tutorial of how I use keywords everywhere for YouTube optimization, which I will link in the cards above and in the description box down below. But you can see keyword everywhere statistics when you're using it on Google and on YouTube. So if I go to this Google tab here, the keyword I searched for was Canva websites for real estate agents. You can see here, this is the widget here, but if we scroll down here, you will see related keywords and long tail keywords and also videos from me because they are ranking in Google. But essentially you would see these keyword terms and then just look at the volume. So this is the search volume per month. So basically I look at these keywords and I formulate them into a YouTube video so I can best optimize my videos so that it will show up in both Google and YouTube search results. Now moving on to a more real estate related topic. If we go into YouTube, I searched up pros and cons of living in Seattle. Again, on the right hand side, we have the widget for keyword everywhere. So if we scroll down here, we can see the most used tags. And again, I would take these words and formulate it into a YouTube video or even into a blog that contains your YouTube video. Because if you're using the best ranked tags, most likely your video will be fully optimized to show up at the top of search results. If you made it to this point in the video, then you know what it is, you know what to do. Yeah, comment down below, hashtag and crew. So I know you are a real one because you watched this entire video. So let me know in the comments down below which tool you plan to implement in your business. As always, thank you so much for watching. And apparently this is what the YouTube algorithm wants you to watch next. And I agree. So if you are ready, get ready to click in three, Two, one.